from financing. And what you want to do is think about, well, is there an income statement account related to receivables? And the way to think about that is, well, what's the most common journal entry we have with receivables? We probably sell something on account, therefore we debit receivables and um, we credit revenue. Revenue being an income statement account, therefore this is something that's probably going to go, it is going to go on the statement of operations because the statement of operations is the income statement on a cash flow basis. It's us adjusting net income to a cash flow basis. So the difference in retained earnings is going to be on the uh, operating sections. Now we've got two different sections here. We have uh, adjustments to reconcile net income to net cash provided by operations and we've got changes in current asset and current liabilities. You're kind of just going to have to know and start to feel where that goes. Uh, the accounts receivable is a current asset therefore it's going to be here in the change to current assets. Uh, the, the next question is will it increase or decrease net income and we'll talk about that you may want to first just have a cheat sheet with you uh, to, to memorize the rule and then think through it. You don't really want to go into a test and have to think through the rule again, even though it's a good practice to think through the rule because in a test taking situation, it's really easy to get all tied up on it. So the general rule is going to be this. You can write it down. It's going to be 